Women who have given nice guys a chance, what's your story? I was the nice guy who got turned down for a second date. I said the same bullshit that any nice guy says when that happens, all women are the same, say they want nice guys, etc. She said well, fine, let's have that second date but doesn't it make you feel weird to have to convince someone to date you? Don't you want someone who wants to be with you? Changed absolutely everything about dating for me. I dated a nice guy for three years. First he did treat me like a queen. Put me up on a pedestal, flattered me, bought me things. He made me feel really good about myself and more confident. Then, it changed because my confidence was a threat. The name calling started, fights over nothing, insane jealousy. He wore me down until I felt like nothing. I hadn't done anything sexual or even dated prior to meeting him. He threw a tantrum until I did all the things he wanted even if I was crying or saying no. He consistently expressed how he wished it was acceptable to hit me and let his mother berate and slap me. It got to the point where he'd pick me up at 7 a.m., I couldn't drive at the time, drop me off at his house, take my cell phone and leave me there until he got out of work. After making me quit my job and trying to get me to quit school, I realized I didn't want this to be my life every day. I was isolated from my friends and family, depressed, and expected to take care of his needs without anything in return. I finally got the confidence to break it off. Turns out he was cheating on me too. He threatened to kill me and any guy he saw me with. Harassed and stalked me for years. He told everyone I was a whore and I left him because of his weight and how he was such a nice guy to me. Duck you, Jerry. I finally allowed him to take me on a date to breakfast. Figured midday would be ideal to meet up in public. I offended him immediately when I spoke to the waitress. I said, we have two when she asked how many we had. He insisted that she was asking him, not me, and I emasculated him in public. I laughed it off as a joke. I grew up with all brothers. Surely, he was trying to be funny. We sat down. The waitress asked for our order. I gave her mine. He groaned and asked her to come back in a second. He told me proper protocol was for me to discuss what I wanted to eat with him, allow him to make the decision, and he was supposed to relay that to the waitress and not me. I told him he was crazy and left. Blocked his number. Ghosted completely. My wife did while she was in college. He had constant low self-esteem which annoyed her, he also loved making fun of other people. Sounds like he was just a toxic guy. When she broke up with him he wrote a suicide note naming her as the reason and showed up on campus with a gun. Fortunately nothing happened. He got some therapy and wasn't allowed back at the school. A girlfriend told me that when she was still new to dating, she gave a nice guy a shot. They were in different states and after weeks of owing him a sexy picture or video she agreed to FaceTime him with a wink-wink agreement that things might get steamy. The day comes and this 300 pounds unwashed dude called her, 190 pounds, 5 feet 6 inches, nice, but bigger than he liked and suggested she start working out. He then pushed for an in-person visit near him so that he could show her the wonders of carnal things. She ghosted him shortly after that. Car I had a guy who would constantly ask me out or make really awkward advances for like a year. I finally hit a pretty low point after coming out of a relationship and agreed to go out on a date. He seemed actually kind of nice and we ended up dating and lived together for a bit. It all turned sour though, when he realized that all his cute punk girl bullshit he had projected onto me wasn't who I am and I wasn't changing to what he wanted me to be, and then all of a sudden he was out with friends constantly and coming home drunk. The morning he came home, around 6 a.m., Telling me he kissed another woman finally woke me up and I left him. He would still send me messages for months after we broke up, not acknowledging my replies saying I have a boyfriend and it's inappropriate to say these things. Even now if I unblock him from social media I'll get a message within a few days saying things like, hey, still beautiful I see or hey cutie slash sweetie etc and he gets blocked again. My sister did. She is a hairstylist and one of her clients was very aggressive about asking her out. He repeatedly bought flowers, concert tickets, and other gifts which he brought to her at work, and she said no each time because he seemed a little off. He got in a car accident and was really badly injured, and she felt sorry for him so she went out with him finally. They dated a few months before breaking up, I don't know the exact reason why. But after that he started stalking her. It's been over five years since then and he is still keeping tabs on her. She's reported him to the police multiple times, has a restraining order, and has blocked him on FB slash everywhere else, 
but every few months he finds a way to contact her. So if you get weird vibes from someone, don't give them a chance or you might end up with a lifelong stalker like my sister has. I dated a guy in high school. Relationship was okay but it was long distance so we amicably ended it. He was the one that brought it up and I agreed. Fast forward 6 months and he randomly messages me. Everything is friendly until I mention that I have a new boyfriend. The conversation did a quick 180 from hi how are you to you'll never find someone like me and how could I start dating again so soon. I blocked his ass real fast. And he was right, I never did find another guy like him because I married the new boyfriend and we're still together 18 years later. The tantrums continued throughout the relationship. He was very controlling. If I was out with friends he would be upset that I was having fun without him. He ended up cheating on me and dumping me only to beg me back. He semi-staked me for a couple of years. Had an online blog about what I did each day and tried to befriend my exes. Way too many times in college. I had guys in the friend zone who I decided to give a chance because I was stupid and I felt sorry for them. My last straw was when a guy took me shopping. I said yes in lonely desperation on a Friday night. This was a Saturday afternoon. After every store I went into he would either criticize me for not wanting him to buy me anything, I'm not much of a shopper anyways, or ask me for sex because he bought me a used video game I wanted. Never again. There's a good reason incels are incels. This nice guy I dated from Tinder was so annoying that I finally gave him a chance, we ended up dating for a year. He was really sensitive and sweet, unlike others I've met from Tinder. But what actually ended up happening were the following things. He would cry every single day that I didn't love him, and threw a fit crying when I didn't approve of an Instagram post he made about us, I looked horrible and it's my right to not want a picture of me online, would tell me repeatedly that I wasn't as attractive as my roommates, his friends, girls he went to college with, my own relatives, etc. tried to have a threesome with my roommate that I didn't even ask for and didn't want to be involved in. Would cry when the dildo he used on me did a better job than him. Refused to wear condoms and when I had a pregnancy scare, he lied to me saying he didn't ejaculate inside me, but later I found out he actually did and he knew about it. Then cried and threw a fit when I said I was sure I was pregnant would cry about how much he loves his mom every day but threw things at her when they fought. There's so much more but those are just some highlights. I had an experience with a niece girl. Red flags everywhere, but I have it a shot. Extremely bad situation. It began with her moving into my place without asking within the first two weeks, thinking it would be a surprise that I would slash should love. She didn't work, but expected me to make all the money and also do every single chore since it was my apartment. It was only our apartment when she wanted to decorate something her way or change my stuff around. She had tantrums about everything possible, and if nothing was wrong she'd make something up to lose her mind about. She also hit me with the why don't more guys just want someone who will love them unconditionally? The irony of that escaped her. Men should want crazy girls because they're crazy because they love you. Yeah, duck that. She did do this thing where I would come home from work and she would be naked except for an apron thinking that was a classic man fantasy and expected the world for doing it. It was great until I quickly realized it was for leverage. She expected the world of me while claiming to be the greatest woman on earth despite not ever showing the least bit of actual respect. I did. It was like dating Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde treated me like royalty when he was pleased with my behavior, then either snapped into a rage or retreated into wounded silence at the slightest perceived wrongdoing. Expected me to be the Madonna and the whore, whichever he preferred at the time, and if I failed to anticipate his will, I was shamed and berated. Never a ducking gain. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.